the pandemic has shaken us all. And this sense of isolation has negatively affected our mental health. In the Philippines, this is most felt by the youth disadvantaged by the lack of local mental health support. One in four young Filipinos experienced anxiety and distress in the past year. And while suicide is the 25th leading cause of death in the Philippines, the government only allocates a meager 5 pesos or 17 cents for each person in a country of more than 111 million people. Help is isolated at best. So I am Jory Fiona Giacopin and I am currently grade 9 student and I want to be a pediatrician in the future. Um, what I'm encountering is it's hard to focus especially when it comes to answering my modules because I had two sisters. So I have a lot of questions and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to or what. I'm uncomfortable talking my personal issues to my teachers, especially because you feel shame and shy to tell me. Especially personal issues. I'm really sad to talk about myself to tell me. Teacher, I'm going to be first for you. I'm going to be first for you. I'm going to be first for you. A safer place with uh, unjudgmental people would be a great help, especially the students right now during the pandemic. The state mandates a ratio of one registered guidance counselor to 500 students. But in the southern region of Bukidnon, Mandoha support is sparsely provided by unlicensed guidance officers to almost 300,000 public school students. This startling gap is filled by guidance designates, undertrained and unregistered, or mainly teachers, the task to fill the roles of registered counselors. Mitzi, a designate like many others, bears the burden. Okay, the mental health situation there is a Manolo Portich National High School, sir. Hanan, na ay ka experience na stress sa mga bata. I think, sir, na ay ubat bata ng kabalo. Pero most koan, mga bata, bisan ka itong naat, wala pang pandemic, marag wala sila capacity to open up their feelings, emotions, kay, because some of the teachers po, uh, not all, no, madunggan po na ako, naayuban nga pa ng koan kayo dito, mag-unay ng judgment towards sa bata, or very toxic, toxic positivity, yan na siya. So, Ang bata, imbis gusto mo share, dili na lang. Pag murag ang environment, dili po supportive sa iyahang ginabakit. Uh, some teachers are na capacity to give that kind of kind of uh, support sa bata. And then, though sa guidance office, nakatag mo yung kanang mga services, like kung ma-stress sila, pwede sila ma-access sa amo ang, ang guidance office, FB page. Yet, mo abot na po dahil yung mga factor si internet connection. So, pag wala internet connection, bisa na ang amo ang FB page, wala ka po yung magkakuan sa mga bata. Cecilia, a teacher stepping up as a guidance designate, doesn't even have a physical office, nor has the adequate background and environment to help her co-teachers and students with the challenges of mental health. Ako si Cecilia L. Fernandez. I've been serving the school as guidance designate for four years now and with 700 plus students dayon na ganang kod ko o classes teaching load because I am an English teacher and I am also the school registrar. Karong na pandemic ang mental health situation sa eskwilahan mo ako kaya hindi ko sir nabilit siya okay kay grabe na struggle yun tungod aning atong pandemic. Ang mga estudyante karol na minahanglan yun o mental health support. Grabe yun na mental health support yun ang ilagikinahanglan tungod sa especially yung lockdown, hindi yun sila kagawa, sumurag. Nara sila sa four corners sa ilang balay, murag. Bored, bored kayo sila. Nangita sila o kagawasan. 
Ang mga teachers, di ni kayo sila makaprovide o mental health support na gikinangan sa mga estudyante. Despite reporting about 100 suicide cases in Bukidnon in 2020 alone, there has been no significant mental health program specific to the region. We are changing this, and together, we can make an impact. During the training last Monday, sir, no, I really learned about the approaches, especially the to Angie. It is um, helpful to you with you as a guidance designate on how to assess and how to do the referral or encourage the mga bata for other support. And I realized that before ko maka help sa bata or maka counsel sa bata, I should first resolve my own uh, traumas. No, kay, di ni magita mahimo nga maayo na counselor if na ako tay mga setbacks sa tuwa. So, magsugod din siya sa personal din nga kanang growth sa counselor. Dahil, I had a severe life in Taka. Magkabangan ang tayo mga bata kayo. We cannot give what we don't have by yan. Yes, of course. Across the region, Hanag to Help is at work in making real impacts through awareness campaigns, community support groups, local capacity building, and free counseling services. Mitzi is a success story in progress, but there are more guidance designees like Cecilia who need our help. More than 1,000 schools, 10,000 teachers, and 1,000 more students in the region. And we cannot do this alone. Make an impact with us. Ang ako gusto mo ay tabunta para sa school, mga lagi doon ka siya ay strong foundation sa guidance. Matrain on ka ang um, mga guidance discipline for ang mga teachers kay para mong tinabangay ang tanong kapagsulbat sa mental health issues sa ron. Ang ako gusto din makita ng future sa with the help of Halad to Health mo. Nga mo improve give me kami ng mga guidance coordinators. Dayon, uh, tanan students po at ma-aware sila about the services na i-provide sa Halal with the, uh, in partnership with the Division of the Team. Yung hanggang yun yung mag-inabangay, sir. So, dako kayo yung 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 handong na ang support sa gitan sa taas na ilunta sa mga eskilahan para mga ma-cater ang tanan ng problema sa bata. Mitzi and Cecilia are at the front lines of the positive impact we want to make but they cannot otherwise receive vital support without your help. The pandemic has shaken us all, but has even more affected the already disadvantaged youth of rural Philippines.